Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. You're in the right place. You checking out? Chip Baker, the success crowd. Conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream. Dig deep, go out and get it. Success Chronicles. Can't compete until it's finished. Success Chronicles. What's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles. And today you're going to get the two chips. How about that? Uh, today we have uh, Chip Helm with us. Uh, he's been in the medical industry for uh, 30 years uh, as an author, uh, doing lots of great things to, to make our world a better place. And so I'm so thankful to have him on this episode of the Success Chronicles. So thank you so much. I'm very blessed and honored to be on your show. All right. Well, let's let's dive into your story, if you don't mind. Uh, talk to us about your life story. You know, I know off air we talked about, you know, where you were from. And if you don't mind, you know, talk about your story and tracking it until now. Well, it goes back a long time, but obviously I'm getting old. But, uh, yeah, I always wanted to be uh, a dentist. Uh, I grew up in a middle class family in Evansville, Indiana. My mother owned a stationary shop right at the old house. And my dad's an orthodontist, was an orthodontist. Uh, both have deceased, and uh, God willing, uh, they're up in heaven, and they've been my uh, support team for so many years, and, uh, you know, I just, I really wanted so badly to be like my father. I mean, I don't know if people actually understand that, what that means or how, but I just, I wanted a white picket fence. I wanted three kids. I wanted a, a wife. I wanted to work with my dad the rest of my life, and so I go to dental school at the university. I get into about my third year and everything falls apart. So people understand that I have had goals and everyone needs goals in their life, but, but it, it could happen so fast that things change. Within hours and 24 hours, my life went upside down. Uh, I wasn't doing very well. I don't have good, small uh, motor skills. Mm -hmm. I played football at Indiana University. I played basketball and baseball growing up but I don't have that fine motor skills it took to be a really good dentist. And it was heartbreaking. I came home one day. It was, uh, I think it was Father's Day, the same day as my father's birthday. I wrote a card, a very heartfelt card. You know, I, and I, I believe in handwriting things. And, and he opened up the card and he started crying. I started crying. We shed tears. And I said, Dad, I can't do it. I, it's just not going to work. And I tell you, and then my whole life changed. And then mentors, I'm a believer in mentors, you know, and if it wasn't for mentors, I wouldn't have had my job in the medical industry for the last 35 years. I wouldn't have gone to dental school. So I had a mentor that actually helped me get to where I wanted to go. And so then, you know, move it up now, 35 years later. Uh, I've not worked for anybody else, another company. Uh, I've worked with great people. I help you know, hopefully save people's lives in the medical industry, very sick people, maybe your uncle, maybe your father, maybe your mother has had mm -hmm. some devices I've been associated with. But the bottom line is it's, it's been a, it's been a fun, exciting journey. That's awesome. That's such a great story. Well, what are three things you've accomplished in your life that you're proud of? You know, that's, that's a, that's a great uh, question. Uh, number one, family. It's all, it's all about family. It's all about family. I, I didn't understand what that work-life balance was many, many years ago. But, you know, without, this, without that support team, without my three kids, I mean, I've got a, my oldest son, Matthew's in medical school at Texas Tech in your home state of Texas. Yes. 
worked as a in vet school at Purdue University in, in uh, West Lafayette, Indiana. And my last son, he's playing football at Ball State University and wants to go and be like his granddad and be an orthodontist. So that's number one. My family uh, is really important, uh, you know. And and then number two is I got lucky. You know, about ten years ago, I sat around the Christmas tree with my family and. I said, you know what, I think your dad can share some messages. You know, I've been in this world called sales for, you know, you know, 20 years at that time. And so, and so I got really fortunate and blessed to, to be able to share uh, some of my thoughts and, and a couple of books that just came out recently in the last uh, year or so. And really it's a legacy. It's a legacy for my kids, you know, that kind of stuff like that. And I guess the third thing that really is important is that, I've been able to develop the friendships and relationships. It's all about people. It's all about, you know, the people that you serve. And, and so I believe in the relationships and the friendships over the years. And, you know, I, I believe that's an extremely important part of life is, is uh, uh, having friends and developing those friendships and those relationships. And so I, I think those are three things that come to my mind. You know, uh, when you talked about relationships, it made me think of my former, my former pastors, uh, Pastor Danny Green. He would say, you know, our life moves at the speed of our relationships. You know, and so, I mean, you, if you look at, uh, first of all, I think no success is achieved alone. Then secondly, uh, if you, I think if you look at successful people, a lot of them have successful relationships, which have, has helped them and giving them the confidence and security and love that they need to achieve those amazing things. Right on. You hit the nail on the head. You know, and so um, it's such a blessing when we can, um, when we are level-headed enough uh, to realize that, hey, I have good people around me. And then, you know, yes, you're doing big things, but then also take care of those people as well. It's a, it's a great thing. It's a great feeling because it, I think it it leaves you fulfilled. I've been very fulfilled, very blessed, and very lucky. Yes, yes. Well, let's talk success. What is your definition of success? That's pretty easy. It's <laughs> KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. Mm. Uh, and it's you know my definition of success is the following. It's like the golden rule of life or I call it the golden rule of sales, is treat people like you want to be treated. Be humble. Bring in humility. You know, treat people with kindness. That's success. Serve others. Put people in front of you, their needs in front of your needs. It's all other people. It's amazing when you do things for other people that they give you back 10 times. So that's really what the definition, uh, definition of success is. It's are you taking care of others? And, and you care more about others than yourself. And you know, I really believe that, that the, you know, the art of humility has been lost in this country. And we gotta continue to bring it back and bring it back. And you know, as I, as I tell one of my, my thoughts is, it's not what you say to people, it's how you say things to people. You gotta be kind and you gotta understand that you know, 99% of people in this world are, are great, are beautiful. They're, they got it all going on. So what about the 1% that sometimes we, you know, have have things going on? I mean, you, you just got to, you got to treat people with kindness. And you got to treat people like you want to be treated. I really believe that is the whole essence of success. Hey Amen, Chip. <laughs> so, uh, I, I, mean, I, I mean, Chip, you can feel my passion. I mean, here it is, uh, <clears throat> morning, Sunday morning. But I, but, but it means something to me. I mean, passion is yeah. everything. I, I totally agree. Um, you know, a lot of those points that you talked about and you hit hit on, uh, I'm a true believer in that as well. You know, it kind of gave me chills when you talked about the golden rule. Uh, you know, I, and I, I discuss that all the time. And I remember um, like it was, I, and I see the, I, I can visualize it. Like every classroom as in elementary school that you walked in, it had the golden rule. It had the golden the wall, rule. You know, yeah. And so, uh, you know, you read that and, and, and I really took it to heart, you know, treat people like you want to be treated. And it's the same way I, I try to live my life uh, now, you know, and, and, and 
press upon my son to to live that way too. I mean, you know, it's just it is golden. You know, that rule is is golden for sure. I mean, it's a, it's it's a simple rule, but a lot of people don't follow it or don't understand. Yeah. It. Don't care enough about it or don't live it. You have to live it. It's kind of funny. Some of the things that you and I are talking about right now, they're behavior changes. Yes. They're incorporating your life. You you know, I always looked at when I wrote some of these books. I, I, they're more about life lessons. You know, it's kind of like I always said, no matter what career you choose in your life, no matter where you go, we're all in sales. We're on that, we're in that work called sales. It doesn't matter what you do in your life. You've got to communicate with people. You've got to mm-hmm. communicate people. You've got to network people. you got to, that's what life's all about. So. That's it. Well, what do you think it takes uh, to achieve that type of success? What does it take to be successful and achieve it? Uh, you know, I go back to, you know, it's pretty, it's pretty simple. If you, <laughs> if you just, again, I, I have to bring that back up. It's just how you communicate with people and how you treat people and how you look at people and how you, you know, don't be judgmental of people, mm-hmm. you know, you know, Put people and other people's needs in front of yours and, and care about what they do. And, you know, it's funny about people when they, when you get someone to talk about themselves, you have them, meaning you have them in your pocket. I, I have this expression, if you solve someone's needs or their problem and, and you listen to them and, and you care about them and what they're doing in their lives is amazing what happens when it comes back to you. If you have them in your pocket, you have the loyalty, you have the trust. You you have that friendship so i guess that's the that's the steps i guess that you would use to become successful i never thought about money okay I'll give you an example mm-hmm. 35 years ago that's not why i got up every morning and you know and i and i, and I went to work i've never had a job in my life we could discuss that I've never had a job in 35 years um and i've always had a big funky smile on my face all the time because <laughs> I love what I do. You got to fall in love. You got to fall in love. And that's what also part of success is. You got to fall in love with what you do. It's like a spouse. You married, Chip? Yes. How, how do you feel inside about your wife? You get those butterflies. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. You still, still mm-hmm. like her occasionally? <laughs> all the time. All the time. Yeah. Right, you take what you feel right now, right? You feel mm-hmm. it? You got goosebumps kind of? <clears throat> got butterflies inside of you? If you can... If you can relay that over to your workspace, yes. for your life and your career, you will never let yourself fail because you'll be so passionate and you've fallen in love that you just, you won't let yourself fail because it's fun. It's exciting. This is, it's not a job. And as I tell everyone, I've done people for 30 something years. I've never had a job in my life. Is that crazy or is that crazy? <laughs> I, I I totally agree with you. I'm on the same deal. You know, uh, it's good stuff. I think twofold when you show the passion and you love and you give love, I truly believe you get what you give. You know, I think people don't have passions, Chip. They did a study a year a few years ago and the definition they looked at passions. Most mm-hmm. people do not have any passions. I have three passions. I got lucky. I have a home in Northern Michigan, which is like a safe haven. It's like God's country. <laughs> family. And I <clears throat> to work with patients and people and provide devices and things that can help very sick people in hospitals. And I just been I just been overly blessed. Yeah. It doesn't, doesn't mean that you haven't fallen. I've gone through my trials and tribulations. We don't have a rocket ship life. Yeah. Through that's another. You still go through things where you get knocked down, but do you get back up? And do you fight it? And did you go after it? And do you, you know, I I always told them I'm not going to let somebody push me out. I'm not I'm not going to let someone keep me down. You know, I'm going to get back up and dust myself off. So I think that's part of you know this this life journey. Well, if you don't mind, can you uh, discuss your books and? Uh, you know, let the audience know where they can go check you out and support you and show you some love. Well, I mean, I, and and let me just start out by saying you you don't make money from books. That's not why I did these books. It's Mm -hmm. a a lot to me, the legacy that I leave in for my children. And to be honest with you, Chip, and you may have to edit this off, but I want to get them off my ass. 
<laughs> using the word ass on here, but no, you good. Judgments in the last ten years, Dad, where's your book? Dad, where's your books? Dad, where's your books? And finally, I said, I gotta do this. Yeah. And one thing though, I've got a group in Texas, and for once, a publisher, an editor, a midwife, if I call her a midwife, because she kind of framed everything. I got the best team in the world. In the world, I mean, I if I ever write another book, God willing. I do have a day gig, you know, I have a day. Yeah. Oh, I, I can't, you know, I, uh, I, I would use the same team and I don't know if you can see this on here yes. book, everyday sales wisdom, uh, with your life and career. The other one, just so you know, is bigger than sales. Now look at this chip, how humility and relationship build crew of success. I put sales and humility connected together. Nobody has ever yeah. seen a salesperson connected to humility before so those are the the things are short reads it's just they're life lessons there's you know, things is how to network and how to maybe maybe there's a pearl in there i i have what's called chipisms mm. yes i haven't trademarked it yet so it's okay chip you <laughs> okay chipisms what are chipisms it's like less is more people buy from who they like following up was following through with equal success. It's my, it's my chipisms that that I want you to remember. That I want you to change your behavior and go back and if you live by these things. To be on time, you know, is not to be late. It's to be early. You know, people need to follow back up. With people. So those are kind of things that the messages that I have, you know, in these in these reads. I I, I call them my airplane reads. Something you get on an airplane chip as you travel all over the country. And with hopefully in about an hour and a half, hell, you'd see my, you know, my, my ugly mug on, on the cover, you know, and that remind you of me. So, um, yeah, my uh, my website's www.chiphelm.com. I got podcasts on there. I got, all those. I got things you can just go and enjoy. And it's all about that. So. Well, there it is. Uh, it's been smiling so much, Chip. It is early. <laughs> more, I've never seen a, another Chip with a big, a big smile like that. I'm not sure you have to do much editing of this. No, no. It's, it's, it's amazing. It's uh, it's great when you can connect with like-minded and like-hearted people. And I'm so appreciative again, you know, for your time and you sharing your story because I think it's good stuff. Well, well tell me real fast before we go. Success Chronicles, what made you go there, Chip? I want to know, what, what, what turned you around to, to start this? Can you, can you kind of give me a quick? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, you know, I just, I just take in my, my values, my visions, and my passions, and I just put them together to, to create something that I love, you know? And so, you know, as far as my, my values, I, I value people, I value relationships. Uh, I value learning, the opportunity to learn from people. Um, you know, as far as my visions, you know, I just want to be successful and help make the world, do my part to help make the world a better place, you know. And then, you know, as far as my passions, love people, love talking to people, love music, love reading, love, like I said, love learning. And so really uh, just taking it all and giving back. You know, just like I said before in the interview, you know, no success is achieved alone. And I truly know that. Like, I know every opportunity that I've been blessed to have has not come from me uh, doing my thing. Now, I've been obedient and worked hard and, you know, tried to treat people right and, you know, all of those things. But but at the end of the day, uh, I've had some some great opportunities because other people have thought I'm deserving of it, you know, and so... Uh, for me, it's just an opportunity to give back uh, to those people that have made a difference in my life. And so that's kind of where it started. Uh, but then now it's, man, it's just it's grown at a crazy rate. And I'm I'm truly blessed to get the opportunity to talk to people like Chip Helm. Yeah. You know, my wife just pulled you up a little bit ago up on and want to know more about Chip Baker. And uh -huh. she impressed my, and it's hard to impress my wife. By. <laughs> hard to impress. Her name is Cirilla. And she's a hard woman to impress. <laughs> so you impressed her. <laughs> and the key is, is what you said, which really resonates with me, is, is you're a man who gives back to yeah. the community and wants to make this world a better place. And you gave 
fact, I got hair staying up on my arms right now, Chip. That's awesome. Because you can see the genuineness. I like genuine people. I can yes. tell you really um, hit home uh, with people. Uh, you got some nice plaques behind you. Where'd you go to school? <laughs> well, uh, this one here is I my bachelor's. I can't see it because totally I don't have great eyes. So there you go. Ahead, tell me. This one uh, is my bachelor's. I got at West Texas A&M University representing the Buffalo to play football there. Um, Did you play football there? Yeah, played play college ball there. Division what uh, position? Uh, middle linebacker. Middle linebacker. That's my son's a linebacker. Yeah, so, uh, so, I'm a real, I'm a, so Chip, I'm a real nice guy you know, off the field and on camera, but let's get across them lines. I'll try to rip your head off. No. <laughs> I would do the same thing. I was a tight end. Let's go. And defensive end, and I wanted to rip your head off. But I was the nicest guy when, when I took the helmet off. Yeah. But that was a mean son of a gun. Yeah. The helmet on. So uh, just like my uh, my younger son, he's a linebacker and mm -hmm. loves to hit because you got to love to hit when you're a linebacker. You got to. Got to. And then this one is Sam yeah. Houston State University. Uh, as I was in my career, I got my master's in educational leadership. So um, you got kids? I do. I have one son. He's uh, 12. And uh, you a football player. He, he's about to start that. Uh, kind yeah. of got him out, out of it a little bit. You know, didn't want him to be burned out yeah. later. You know, yeah. that whole, you know, your that body. Situation where, yeah. When do you start? Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, he'll be. He'll be starting uh, going into junior high next year. Yeah. So so excited about that. So it's it's truly been a blessing. Learned a lot. It's been a good life. Uh, I mean, I've been following you. You're all yeah. over the country. I, yeah. mean, I mean, I can't believe you took the time to even to spend a few minutes with me. I, I, I'm totally, I, I, I'm totally blessed. I was going, I mean, I, I'm almost, am I in a dream right now? Or am I in a dream? <laughs> <laughs> and my wife will tell you I'm probably in a dream most of the time. Yeah, that's awesome. And I don't know whose dream I am or whatever, but <laughs> I'm just uh, – You're in it. I'm just having fun, and I, I can't believe you got up this morning and took the time to even spend a few minutes with me. Yes, I think uh, – just like I said, I love learning and love the opportunity to, to give back, and I think when you can find like-hearted and like-minded people that truly understand that it's not – well, I'm – that they understand that it ain't about me, you know. It ain't, it ain't about me. Yeah, it ain't like about Melanie, me, right? You know Melanie, right? Yes, yes, Melanie yes. Ake? Mm -hmm. That's how I think you and I got hooked up. Was yes, sir. Through Melanie, she's one of the best of the best of the best. She's awesome, awesome lady. She, she's awesome, awesome mm -hmm. person. Uh, you know, but you've really connected with a lot of great people. You should be really uh, proud, and uh, you know, you're well deserved. Well deserved. Well, thank you so much. Well, I truly, again, appreciate you taking the time. And thank you guys for checking out this episode of the Success Chronicles. We'll see you next time. God bless. Thank you again. Go get it.